going on guys? Chris aka Beast Mode 718 coming at you from the Guap Drop, the Rome NYC, and the Guap Drop Sneaker Consultant. Today I got a discussion video with you guys on Kobe Day. Is this a new thing that we're going to be looking at towards the future? A lot of you guys that are watching this are younger than me. I grew up on Kobe and people don't really understand I think how influential Kobe was. But before we get into the video, please subscribe if you like content like this. Hit that thumbs up if you like content like this. Hit that notification button to be notified when we got a new uh, video coming out or anything for you guys. So you got these fire Kobe's coming out. So is this going to be something where Kobe has his own day every year where we get something special out of him? Now I know a lot of the people might not be familiar with Kobe. They might know the number 24 Kobe only. I know the number 8 Kobe. So you got to understand, I just want to emphasize, when Jordan left, and Jordan was great. I, I remember Jordan in the late 90s is when I was watching a lot of him with the number 45 when he came back and it was, he was amazing. Nobody was like Jordan. And then you had Kobe come up and it was this new era, it was this passing of the torch type thing. And next thing you know, you got Kobe in the game. They had a famous all-star game together and you could kind of see, it was actually, you could actually see like in a video clip of it happening in the Netflix series with Jordan. Last Dance where he's talking to him. You can kind of see like Jordan did a lot of things where he did it through his actions. He knew he was passing off the torch to Kobe. Kobe over to congratulate Michael. He's looking for him. There they are. And this may be as close to a torch passing as we And Kobe was fantastic. You know, Kobe was Kobe. He was he mimicked Jordan. He was the great, and, and it sucks because Kobe would have been so much more appreciated as time went on, regardless of his death, but it's like, it's always like you get remembered more after your death, but he would have been immortalized while he was alive. You know, every year that went past, you would have saw more and more players paying homage to him because they, we grew up on Kobe. You know, I saw more of Kobe than I, I did Jordan. And even though I saw Jordan at the end of his career, and he was great and he was clutch. I have much clearer memories of Kobe. So with this movement of, I feel like the mourning period has, has been done. You know, we've already went through the mourning period of Kobe you know, don't touch his shoes, don't resell his shoes, and I'm not gonna knock anyone for selling anything because that's just ridiculous. Uh, because there was a lot of people, and I might get some flack for this, it is what it is, you know, when people were selling their, their Kobe's afterwards, you know, people wanted them. There was a demand for a death, the death happened, you had a demand for his products because he would no longer be coming out with, you know, any new Kobe's, and there was just a lot of, hey, don't profit off of someone's death, I get it, but people gotta eat too, and um, I'm not gonna knock anyone for reselling. Uh, anything of Kobe's, you know, it, it's, it's, a, it's a part of life, his death. It's extremely tragic with his daughter and, uh, you know, it's a, sh a shitty situation. But I feel like we went past this morning period and now it's like, is this going to be, we have a easy day. If anyone's deserving of their own day, it would be 824 and it'd be Kobe. And I think it's an awesome idea to bring, maybe just once a year, they'll bring, I, I mean, I think it'd be cool just to bring back and just to really show like, oh, the new Kobe's are coming out. We gotta wait like another year for some super, super fire stuff to come out. I like that concept. I know they won't do it. I know they're gonna water it down because as much as Nike wants to act like they're this moral high ground, they got slave workers working in China and make these shoes for next to nothing, which is a different topic altogether. But for them to be on any type of morality high ground is just pathetic to me anyways. But when we're talking about immortalizing Kobe, I think the, the coolest idea would be to go ahead and release one shoe a year. And it would be 824, the hype would be huge. It would, it, it would make it so exclusive that everyone would be talking about Kobe Day. It wouldn't be a watered down Kobe that is released before or a watered down whatever. It would be a super exclusive 824 every year. And I think they're gonna do something with it. Starting off with this year, these Pro Tros are super dope. I love purple and black. I don't know why it works so well. I love like even LeBron's purple and black shoes that he has with his 17s that are out. But even that these that are coming out, I think something will happen every year on 824 from now on. And it's gonna be super dope. If they re-release a lot of shoes, that's fine. But I think there will be something that will drop on 824. And in the years to come, we'll be talking about at the end of summer, getting ready to go to school when all this shit gets done with and normalcy is brought, you know, at least from a pandemic point of view, it'll be normal. It'll be really cool because you're right about to go back to school for the youngins out there. And look, it's Kobe day. We got fire coming out to put on your feet before you step into class on that first day of school. So 
that's my thoughts on the matter. Do you guys think that you know 824 is going to be a thing for Kobe as well? Is this going to be a yearly thing that we look at where they're like, man, we got the fire coming out this summer, just like Easy Day, we're going to be getting amped for Kobe Day. I think it is, and uh, it'll keep his his legacy alive even more because it's going to be brought to the forefront in an August release where we see this month in July and August on how many releases there were. Everyone's th talking about sneakers that aren't even into sneakers and to see an A24, you already know what it is. You're getting heat amongst heat and it'll just make him stick out and I think it'd be a really cool idea. So Nike, if you're out there listening, I think this is a good idea to bring it to the forefront. But uh, that's just my opinion on the matter. Do you guys think this is going to be something to look forward to every year? Who knows? But if you guys like this content, please make sure to subscribe, hit that thumbs up button, hit that notification. I appreciate you guys watching the videos, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.